We've got a great Spanish dish for you today. We've got a roasted fish with chorizo, with just tomatoes, there's these beautiful butter beans in there. And then we've got a nice crispy potato gratin with red onions through it and nice gratinated with cheese on there. And I've got today, I've got this beautiful fish, uh, blue nose. So it's very similar to um, harpooker. It's a nice meaty, uh, rich fish, fish, nice and chunky and flaky. And that's the fish what you want to use. You could do it with snapper, but it will just be too thin and just fall apart. So you'd have to be really careful. So if you're going to make this dish, harpooker, blue nose, even monkfish, it works absolutely fantastic. Thank How you. are you? Good? good. Very good. good. Very good. Uh, now it looks like we're busy today. So let's we, get going, shall yeah, we? We are very busy. We've got a few components. So we've got a nice fresh uh, fish stew. Yum. So it's not like a, a meat stew where you've got to cook it for hours. You right. know? So there's a lot less time in cooking. We've got this beautiful uh, blue nose today. Uh, chorizo in there, so a bit of surf and turf going on and heaps and heaps of flavours in the chorizo. So it's a quick, easy, full of flavoured dish. It's an interesting mix, the fish and the treats. I've never had it before, so I'm quite excited. And you've also got butter beans. But <laughs> yeah, you got some, your butter in. Some, some, but, some <laughs> yeah. butter beans in there, nice. yeah. They don't contain butter, okay, unfortunately. Nice. Okay, well, let's get cracking then. Right, so, so basically, we're going to start the um, stew now. So yep. a little, little bit of oil in there. And then just got some onions, so we're just going to sweat that down. Mm -hmm. And as okay. that's cooking down, we put a little bit of seasoning in just to sort of start the uh, flavours developing. A little bit of salt and pepper. Yep. Okay, so the onions are in here. A um, little bit of salt and pepper as well. And we're gonna. What we're gonna do? We're gonna put yep. the chorizo in so here. So we just chop the chorizo up. Yeah. We're just gonna pop that in, and we're gonna cook that down with the onions. So all the <laughs> flavour from the uh, the sausage is gonna go into the onions, and that's gonna be the base of our soup. Beautiful stew. stew. Okay. Yeah. Right, and you notice, I'm, so I'm not putting any garlic in here because the chorizo has got lots of garlic in there. Right. It's, you know, it's a, it's a sausage which is full of flavour. Loads of garlic in there, loads of paprika, loads of flavour. Yeah. You know, it's, it, and it can be a little bit spicy, so, you know, it's always a good idea to try your sausage first. Right. Um, and then see how spicy it is or how much flavour it is. And if you don't like it, you know, you can substitute it for a different sausage or even right. bacon in there, that'll be fine, you know? Okay, whatever that's whatever right. you want. Yeah, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. Yeah, so exactly. And you, yep. I mean, you've got to love it. Yum. Right, so I'm just going to start, uh, I'm going to start some potatoes. So, Spanish uh, cuisine, they love fried potatoes, and there's a classic dish over in Spain, uh, patatas bravas, which is just basically fried potatoes, and it's got sort of like a tomato sauce on there and mayonnaise. Oh. And it's just like the best <laughs> like thing ever. Bit. Yeah. Yum. So we're not doing that today, but we're going to take the fried potatoes there. Oh, we'll write that one down, though. We'll do that another oh, day. Oh, definitely, eh? definitely. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to do some nice, uh, nice slices, uh, not too thick, what, not too thin, sort of about that, maybe sort oh, of yeah. uh, two, three mils. Leaving yep. the skin on, so that's really good. And then I've got a pan here, I'm just gonna heat that up, and then we're just gonna saute these uh, slices off. So we're gonna get nice and golden on both sides. Yep. So we've got some red onion, which we'll sprinkle over the top, and a bit of cheese, and then pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes. It's just gonna be great. So it's almost like a, a chunky gratin. Nice and then that's work. gonna cook alongside our stew. So just wanna sort of give that a couple of minutes, get all the flavors going. And then we'll start putting our tomatoes and stock in there and building the soup. And then we're going to fry our fish. So we're going to cook the fish in two ways. We're going to fry it, we get a nice colour for presentation, yep. nice flavour. And then we're going to flip it over and then we're going to finish the rest of the cooking slowly in the stew so it's nice and juicy. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Okay, the best well, of both worlds. When did you first make this dish? Because I've never combined chorizo with fish before. Oh, so I mean, just stumble across it. I mean, this is, this is classic. I mean, this is... Yeah. Uh, I mean... Not done this before as such, but with prawns as well. Prawn oh, chorizo yeah. is really good, and, and you know, I mean, you get it all over in there uh, in Spain and surf and turf as well. It's not a, you know, it's not a new thing. Oh, yeah, true, yeah, true. Uh, yep. You know, steak, prawns, scallops, you know, anything you want. So, you know, go out there, mix it up. You know, if you like chorizo, if you like fish, if you like prawns, if you like chicken, put it together. You know. More the merrier. Brilliant. OK, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Our chorizo and onions, I think, are done. We'll work on these potatoes as well. I'm going to sprinkle a bit of red onion over it. And yep. just pop a bit of now. stock in there now. Yeah. Cool. We'll bring that to the boil. OK, well, we'll bring this to the boil. We'll come back. We need to finish up what we are doing here in the cafe kitchen. Classic Spanish dish, and it is smelling incredible, Mark. It's really good. Have I converted you to the surf and turf? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I'm into this. Well, Fried so got, potatoes uh, and treats, so I'm halfway there. Oh, definitely. So we'll have a look at the potatoes. So we've got a nice bit of colour, and then we'll flip them over. Beautiful. OK, cool. That's it. So we'll cook them the same on the other side, and then we've got some red onions to go in there in a minute. Yep. The stock's just coming down, and then we've just got uh, a tin of tomatoes in there. You know, if, if it's summer and you've got lots of uh, tomatoes at home in the garden, pop fresh tomatoes in. It'll be even better, this recipe. And then we're just going to carry on cooking that just until it thickens slightly, and then we can just put the butter beans in just to warm up at the very last minute because okay. they're all ready to go. And then I've got a hot pan on here now. 
and I'm going to start cooking the fish. All right, so we've got this blue nose, so nice, nice fillet. So just cut some nice portions. Right, and it doesn't matter what sort of fish you use. Well, I mean, it's, this recipe is better because you, you're going to cook it in the in the stew nice and slow. So you want a really thick, nice, meaty piece of fish. Okay, oh, so something that's tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to so, hold together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's that's what you want. Okay, you nice. Know, nice, thick, and meaty, and then it, and then it will just be nice and juicy and flake after. You know, if you do snapper with this because it's so thin and it'll be so delicate when Breaks it's cooked. Away. Yeah, it'll probably just break away and just look like a right mess. It'll taste great, right. but it will look like a mess. So, just uh, gonna get the presentation side nice and golden now. So, so there's the, the bloodline, that's the other side, that's where the skin is. Right. So, I'm doing the, where the bone is, that's the presentation side. So, that goes skin down, very hot pan, you can see now it's frying, and all I'm looking for now is a nice golden roasted crust for flavour. And then we'll finish, don't worry about the fish being raw, because we're gonna finish it off in here. Stew's coming down nicely. Potatoes are nice and golden. Yeah, that's looking good. So just a little sprinkle of red onion over the top. Oh, got yeah. some seasoning. And then you can just bunch them all together. Okay. A little bit. There you go. And then a little bit of cheese for protein. Oh yeah, there you go. Over the top. There you go. We just learnt that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I didn't know. That. I didn't know that cheese had the most protein. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's great because <laughs> we cheese. can eat it all the time. Now. Yeah. <laughs> right, and then all we're going to do now, pop that into a hot oven about 180 degrees or so for about sort of 20 minutes. The cheese will great uh, gratinate over the top. Yeah. These nice crunch from the onion and these beautiful tasty um, uh, potatoes. Yeah. And you can make this for any anything you want, you know. <laughs> look at all this mounting cheese everywhere. Oh, it's awesome, isn't it? Okay. Right, so let's have a look at our fish. So just carefully have a look. We're getting a beautiful colour on that fish now. It's going to take it a little bit more. So we're not doing any cooking on the other side in the pan. Have a look at our stew. Right, and what sort of consistency? Are we boiling this down? or? Yeah, we're just reducing it, it down a bit, right. just to get some flavour into it. I'm going to turn it down now, because we're not too far off the consistency what we want. OK. I'm going to pop the fish in there now. So, so you cook the presentation side yeah. nice and golden. Pop it, oh, yeah, look pop at it that. over. Just pop that in. And that fish is not going to take long. So I'm going to really turn this on a very, very, very low heat. Yeah. And just let that tick over. The sauce is going to... or the stew is going to thicken slightly. It's going to cook the fish full of flavour, and then, you know, it's not that thick now, the fish, so I'm going to pop the beans through it, and that'll take two, three minutes on a nice, slow, gentle heat to warm through, cook the fish through, and that's pretty much ready to go. Brilliant, okay. All we need to do, a little bit of fresh parsley over yep. the top just before we serve. The potatoes go in the oven, they won't take long either. It all comes together. Brilliant. The fish is cooked, it's all nice and glazed. I'm just gonna uh, take the potatoes out, just stack them up. Oh, look yeah. at that. Yum. It's really good, right. Get some of this fish out, serve that on there. And then, you know, make sure you get the sauce and you got all the chorizo and the butter beans and the tomatoes, put all that on a beautiful, sort of fresh, tasty, wintry fish stew. That looks incredible. Mm. Look at that, there you go. Nice work. Yeah! yeah.